This is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal. And this vase is an absolute mess. I've had it for a while and it's pretty heavy. Um, I think it's really good quality. It just really needs a good cleanup job. So um, I'm going to go ahead and wash it, get it cleaned up as much as I can. And then I'm going to use this um, Rust-Oleum metallic spray paint and spray it, maybe add a little trim to it and see what it looks like. I always like to take things that don't look so good and change them into really beautiful things. Okay, so I cleaned this off the best that I can and there's still some stuff on the inside, but I won't worry about that because I could always fill it with flowers or whatever. But I did want to leave part of it where the glass is still showing. So I wanted the clear glass to still show before I paint. So what I'm going to do is use this painter's tape and kind of just, just put it along the edge. So each edge of the container you could still see through. I thought that would be a nice addition. So we'll see how it goes. I'm trying to leave this as straight as possible. I just ripped that a little bit too short, so I'm going to go back and just put on just a little bit of tape there. I'm just going to use each edge here, kind of line it up. Okay, and that's on there pretty secure. And now it's time to start spraying it. Okay, so I'm outside where it's well ventilated. And I'm going to be spraying this in one direction. I just wanted to cover my surface really good. And I'm just going to give this a few shakes. And then I'm just going to start spraying, just kind of in even directions. And I'll probably end up doing more than one coat on this. Letting it dry in between coats. And I can already tell this is going to be really pretty. It may not look like much now, but it's going to look a whole lot better than it did before. Okay, so we're going to let this dry. We're going to apply another coat, and then I'm going to come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, my vase is all done. And this is what it looks like. And so now I'm going to go ahead and it's got a nice smooth finish. I'm going to go ahead and peel off my painter's tape and see what it looks like. So I'm going to just be very gentle while peeling this off. And just let you see what that looks like. Just gently, gently peeling it off. This is my first time doing this on glass. Oh, 
and it looks pretty good so far. Okay. All right, and so I've got that off. Let's see, now this one, I'm not sure because some of the spray paint may have gone um, underneath this. So just to let you know, um, just make sure that you have that painter's tape on really good, like seal down all around here so that it doesn't get underneath that. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully, hopefully it'll be okay. So I'm just taking my time and peeling back. Yep, and see it got it right under there just a little bit. Just a little bit. So I'll have to just remember in the future to make sure that my painter's tape is, is really down there. So I'm going to go ahead and peel off the rest of these and see how it came out. It's actually the fun part. So you go and you learn And you can do any design you want, which is really nice. I had seen a couple of these, actually a, a, quite a few done on Pinterest. And so you can actually do your own designs on here. So that really ugly vase looks a whole lot better right now. So and I let this dry for about two, three hours since I put more than one coat on it. And so I'm hoping that I can kind of scrape this off just a little bit. I'm gonna just try it and see. I'm not sure. Looks like just a little bit, I can actually scrape that off but next time I'll just be more careful. So just a lesson to you, just be careful with that. And look how pretty that is. I don't know if you can really see that. It's just, it's just got a nice little decorative feel to it. And I'm not putting this in water. I'm just gonna keep it as a vase that I'll have around the house. I'm not really worried about this part. I guess I could have spray painted all around here. I'm not really worried about because I'm gonna fill this with flowers. But before I do that, I found this really pretty um, trim. And I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with it, but it matches this paint really good. Let's see, let me let you see what that looks like against there. I figured I'd go maybe right along here with it. I really like the way that looks. I'm not going to go right up to the edge. I'm just going to come down just a little bit. And I got this trim at Walmart. I think it was like a dollar. Wait a minute. It was about, I think it was $2.99. And it's from Ofre, which is a very popular brand. And this is, um, it's three yards three yards of trim. So that's not bad. So I am going to just go right around just a little bit below the edge there with that. So let me just measure it around. And it's got like sequins on it. So I'm hoping that when I cut it, I'll probably hot glue it just to keep it in place, just to keep it intact there. So it doesn't seem like there's a, just so it doesn't come apart on me. And you see it just unraveled a little bit, but I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue on there. That'll keep it in place. Be careful with your fingers on there. Okay. Okay. 
maybe off to the side where no one can see it. Let's see. I think I'm going to start right over here. I'm just going to turn it this way so you can see. right there. Just put that on. I'm just going to put some in the back here. You won't be able to see, but just at different areas, just to hold it on there. And like I said, this is not going in water or anything. It's just going to be a nice vase to hold some artificial flowers in. End it right there. I'm going to take my scissor and just cut it. Right about there. Okay, and then I'm going to just hot glue it right here. Again, that will end it. We won't be able to really see it. Okay, and so that's what it looks like. Look how pretty that is. Very elegant. Really liking that little bit of bling on there. I think that's enough. I could go around the bottom, but I'm just going to leave it like that. I think that that's enough. For that and then I did find some flowers and these are actually 97 cent flowers that I got and I did show this in a previous haul I got these 97 cent flowers at Walmart and so I'm just going to go ahead and use these in the vase because I don't know something about this green I really like And to me, it'll accent this also. All right. And I'm just going to kind of bend these out. I'm not going to cut it. I'm just going to bend these little wires out here. And then see how it fits in there. I just want it to fit right over the top here, just right over the top. I'm going to bend them down even more. Sometimes you just got to play with it until you get it. There it is, and that looks really pretty. I love that little embellishment, and these flowers go perfect with it. And I will post pictures at the end, as usual, so that you can see what it looks like. I hope this inspired you, so don't throw out those ugly glass vases. You can always Always fix them up and use some paint and redo them or upcycle them. I hope you like this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. See you real soon. Bye.